Hi, I'm Jane Graves and I'm a green enthusiast and today I'm here with Susan Hunt-Stevens and I'm so excited because she's created an amazing website called Practically Green, simple ways to green your life and live a happier, healthier life. And then Susan, you're giving us some really good tips today on how to reduce our waste. You talked about recycling, you talked about reusable products, you talked about um, reducing the amount of mail that we get and now we're going to talk about compost. Yes, so this, I, I'll be honest, was one of the hardest things when I first started thinking about making this change. And I said, I just can't do this. Composting is gross. Like, oh, that was my initial the reaction, the bugs and the flies, and what do I do? And now that I've been doing it for about a year and a half, I've become a fan over time. Um, what you have to do is you really have to get yourself set up though. And the first thing you need is a kitchen pail that you put your kitchen scraps in. And one of the things that somebody recommended to me that I found really useful because then you don't get all the schmug at the bottom of that are these yeah. bio bags. And bio bags are certified compostable. It means they really do compost in a home composting Which system. Which is really important because I remember you saying like it can say compostable on it. Yes. Um, and then it doesn't even break down properly or the methane gas is, comes yeah. off from it. So composting is not a regulated word, um, and so what can happen is people can make compostable claims for a product that only composts in a commercial composting facility, not a home-based composting facility. Wow. And very few Americans have access to commercial composting yeah. and commercial compost collection systems. Mm. And so you do have to be careful, um, but bio bags um, and their other products that are certified through the Biodegradable Products Institute of all the um, organizations you didn't know existed, um, mm. that do certify that it will break down under a home composting um, conditions. But yard waste is the other one, and a lot of cities now have yard waste collection programs and they'll compost the yard waste things like your Christmas tree you can compost right, your Christmas yeah. tree which is another way to really reduce your trash one of the things people in apartments say is there's no way I can compost I live in an mm, apartment mm. and there's a new product called a nature mill which is an indoor home composting system for people who don't have a place to put their compost um, and they can compost it down and, and do it in the home and then um, take it to centralized facilities that collect compost if you garden um, and even if you're just doing a little home plot, um, compost is amazing for growing oh my plants. Gosh. And that really is where you see the cycle of life come through. Exactly. Like that. Once again, this is Jane Graves and Susan Hunt Stevens from Practically Green. I want to thank you so much for joining us today. It was great to be here, and we encourage all of our viewers to come take the quiz at Practically Green, find out how green you are, and you get practical suggestions of things you can do next to live a healthier and greener life. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and check out more of our great videos. And if you want more tips on going green, send us an email at request at mahalo.com.